Taurus is me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be your personal reading. So this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video if you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart. Maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Cuss babies, I include you in my readings because your son represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cuss baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you're a regular Taurus when it comes to your son position. So Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. And then Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th through May the 23rd. Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th through May the 23rd. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, thank you for supporting me. The song that's on in the background is Kissing on My Tattoos by August Alsina. Um, if you hear any song that could be very significant to your uh, soul and spirit journey when it comes to, you know, the things that you do, your relationship with your divine feminine, divine masculine. If you hear certain songs in this uh, reading that is very significant and resonate with you and your situation that is meant to do that um, because it's a part of your blueprint. OK, uh, make sure you do subscribe to What's the Chat of Arasha, where I do the treasure box readings going to be doing a lot of those today to get caught up. Um, thank you to everybody that has supported me in any of my channels and then also booking personal readings or purchasing any of my deck, uh, my deck that I do have out and then my future deck that I do have coming out. So thank you for all the love and support. So let's go ahead and get started, Taurus. I also do include North Node with my reading. So North Node, um, uh, I include you um, and with the readings too because North Node represents your past life karma in this karma in this lifetime. So it represents both. So let's go ahead and get started. So Taurus... Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video if you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart. Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. So they don't want nobody but you kissing on their tattoos, Taurus, or you don't want nobody but that you're the person that you are in, you know, intrigued, inquiring about, um, interested in kissing on your tattoos. So, uh, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video. If you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody. That has Taurus in their chart. You got lover's energy here, Gemini. So Gemini, um, you got King of Wands, wow, Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. And then you got the King of Pentacles underneath it. So you could have more than one masculine that could be interested in you as far as when it comes to love relationships. You can have a, or you could be the King of uh, Pentacles. You could be a woman that's more in your earth energy. I mean, more in your masculine energy than you are in your feminine energy. But you do have two Kings up here when it comes to presenting themselves as far as lovers so you got fire energy aries leo as well as sagittarius and then you got earth energy capricorn taurus as well as virgo this also represents gemini you could be a taurus slash gemini cusp baby and there could be a fire sign that's interested in you aries leo as well as sagittarius or you could be interested in a fire sign um, but these are the, the energies that's here. Um, this basically represents somebody that's coming in. If this is one masculine, they're coming in passionately. They want to be your provider. They have stability as far as when it comes to this connection between you and them. OK, so somebody's definitely coming in, motivated, inspired. They're coming in passionate. OK, somebody could be coming in and giving you offers again. Today is a holiday. If you do celebrate you know, Valentine's still today is Valentine's. So somebody could be coming in with a love gesture, love offer. OK. 
This also represents intimacy. So there could be intimacy that could lead to a pregnancy. If you do not want to get pregnant, feeling that you might be, do I turn you on? King of Wands. Look, the Empress energy underneath that. So you got uh, Air, Taurus slash Libra. Somebody's ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to this connection between you and them. Okay, so you got Aries, Lib uh, Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. And then you also got Virgo, two of wands. So there definitely was juggling. So you could be the one as far as, let's say, if you were a Taurus woman, you being this Empress, you could be the Emperor to both of these masculines. When it comes to love relationship, you could be making a decision on who it is that you want to choose and who you're getting ready to take a leap of faith on this um, new journey as far as when it comes to this relationship or one of these gentlemen could be making this decision for you if you do have a fire sign and an earth sign that you have been going back and forth with taurus libra capricorn taurus virgo uh aries leo as well as sagittarius gemini you got aquarius libra as well as uh, uh aquarius libra as well as gemini and then you got virgo energy so it could be any of these uh signs as far as when it comes to this resonating with if it's none of these signs that's um your sign is not here again it's just a woman that possibly or a man that possibly has i feel like this is a woman situation you have you're this empress and you have two different masculines that you could choose from they could possibly both think that you have been foolish when it comes to juggling both of them like i said somebody could be coming in and making a decision for you when it comes to choosing these two from these two masculines so we got taurus um Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video. If you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody, you got two uh, page of wands. So somebody, they both see potential when it comes to this connection. As far as when it comes to you seeing them, seeing you as your empress, I feel like somebody's getting ready to, this is wifey material. As far as they see you as wifey material, again, this is page of wands, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's coming in passionately. Somebody could be seeing a lot of birds, blue birds or red birds that's causing this masculine to take a leap of faith okay we have the queen of swords so you got aquarius libra as well as gemini so this is you seeing the truth making a decision again if this is you the woman that's making a decision it's time for you to make a decision choose a you're getting ready to make a leap of faith no longer being scared there could have been a leo that could have been holding this masculine back or aquarius libra as well as gemini or leo holding you back or holding your masculine back but i feel like now there's a lot of inspiration again passion when it comes to this relationship somebody definitely could have been crying over spilled milk Okay, you got the Ten of Cups. They see you as wish fulfillment. This is getting ready to be a happy situation for you. A major spark, a brand new beginning that's happening. Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. I feel like you got two masculines that's getting ready to take action at one time. It's going to be up to you to make a decision on which two masculines that you're going to choose when it comes to this relationship between you and this masculine. Okay, um, is what I'm getting from this. Mm. Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius. So somebody definitely is coming in hot and heavy. A new spark. They see you as wish fulfillment. So you got Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got it to this video. If you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. You have telepathic communication. So I feel like these are two masculines that have been speaking to you telepathically. If it's one masculine, this one masculine has been speaking to you, to, tell you, to you telepathically. They could be telling you and communicating with you in the spiritual realm, you know, that they're coming in passionately. They want to wife you again. They see you as wish fulfillment. They're hoping that you can forgive them if there was any foul play when it comes to this relationship. If they were choosing, not choosing you over somebody else, that could be the communication that you and this masculine could be having, you know, through brainwaves. So it says, pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent to you and received to you at this time. We have communication coming in. So do you hear me now? So somebody's coming in hot and heavy, a commu form of communication, text, email, phone call. It says a conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express. So that's on his background is The Weekend by Scissor. OK, so it says missed chances. So there could be a situation, especially if there is two different masculines or two different women 
somebody is getting ready to get a miss chance of missed opportunity in a certain situation because there's time to choose like i said somebody could finally make a decision or these masculines could be pushing you to finally make a decision if you have been the feminine that has been procrastinating when it comes to which masculine that you want to choose again there is a lot of passion and a lot of into I, I feel like there's heavy intimacy or passion when it comes to sexual connection between you and this masculine okay one more card we have enchanted love. So again, there's a enchanted love here. So this connection is uh, uh, secure and protected. It says a sacred bond that is divinely guided and humorous. So there's times, you know, tears and laughter that has been played when it possibly comes to this relationship between you and this person played or happened between you and this person. But I feel like there's, let's say if there's other men or other women that were, you know, trying to compete for you as this empress or treat Pete for compete for them as this king i feel like there's stories that you could make um have conversations and you know laugh about so i feel like somebody's coming in they're going to spark a conversation again this masculine is in his king of wands or the king of pinnacles energy it says miss chances have you considered all your options do you did you give it um it everything in the end you only regret the chances that you didn't take so like i told you somebody does have options when it comes to lovers okay and i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading for you tauruses make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share thank y'all for being here love y'all and y'all have a great day